how to identify pullbacks in the market or probably you can call it retracement now you know normally when price goes up like this it will come down small we long buy short sell long buy short sell long buy short sell long buy short sell now that short sell is what is called pullback for example let's say we are in a downtrend all right so market pull pull down that short buy long sell this short buy here this short buy is what is called retracement short buy long sell short buy long sell short buy long sell short buy then maybe per eventual market now change direction they will now have long buy short sell long buy short sell now if you are in an uptrend that small retracement or pullback is what i want to show you how to identify now listen there are different ways to identify pullback different ways different rules different strategy different laws but for me this is the way i do don't come to the comment section and say that your mentor is said it's like this your daddy said it's like this your mommy said it's like this please this is how i do my thing if you are not comfortable with it use your own i'm never telling you to use my own i'm just sharing ideas that i know so let's say this is the chart here if the market is in an uptrend and we want to pull back i want to see three candles closing below each other that is my law i want to see three candles closing below each order let's see this is now uh this uh market here is definitely in an uptrend uptrend yes this is this this is now uptrend so here now this is 15 minutes time frame all right so market pulls up like for here here to here all right I wanted to zoom my this thing let me zoom it you see this is a this market is an uptrend but kind of consolidating but we are not trying we are not trying to do analysis i'm just here to show you valid and invalid pullback i'm not here to analyze valid and invalid pullback we have pushed to the upside small retracement this small retracement i want to see three candles of the same color closing below each other now is this retracement valid yes why we have you know blue is my buy yellow is my my cell now in your case this cell this yellow will be your red all right because i changed my color now did we have like three uh what's it called three candles yes yellow one two three this retracement here pullback is valid whether it is small or big no matter how small the retracement is as long as there are three candles closing below each other it is it is definitely going to be a retracement for me i'll consider it as a valid one if market breaks it then it's a shift in mark now some of you you go and mark the wrong chart calling that place as a shift let, let, let's just continue let's let's move on let's just move on let's just move on is this a pullback this let me mark it let me mark it here and here is it a pullback is it is this is this place a pullback yes it's a pullback why we have three yellow candles closing below each other how did the candle close let me show you this this is where the candle closed for me you see one that line the the i'm not using the week i'm using the body closure i'm not using the week oh. some people use week but me is like the body closure is better for me you can see the the place that this yellow candle close i'm not even sure that you are seeing my chart let me zoom like zoom zoom a rock zoom a rock zoom a rock 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 zoom a zoom a zoom a okay you can see enough with the play you see this yellow candle which is my cell candle you see the wick uh the body where this candle close i will not like look it did this candle close below this one yes where did this candle close which is this one did, it, did this other one close below this candle yes i'm not using the wick please some people use wick but me i use the body closure 
one two three close below each other if it is a buy it is going to be one two three this pool like continuation is valid because this candle close below this one uh, sorry this candle close above this one this candle close above this one why this candle close below this one and this candle close below this one that is the law all right that's the law for me if you are looking for retracement immediately maybe you are buying and you want to know if a retracement is coming you want to see three candles closing below each other if you're if you are going for a buy and you want to know for those of you who are scalping you want to know when when and how to close if you see three candles closing below each other that means retracement is coming all right if you are in a sale let's say you are selling and you see three buy candle closing above each other one two three with the same color that means retracement is coming i hope i hope i just like made it clear i just saved your life right now <laughs> i save your life now look at this is this a pullback this this one here no it's not for me oh i don't know for you because why there are two candles i want to see at least three is this a, is this a pullback no it's not for me why this other one is it a pullback this one no for me it's not no matter how the candle is no it's not and this range like ent this entire range is not a pullback no pullback happened in this entire range like from here from here like this no pullback happened for me oh i don't know for you no pullback happened no pull now if you notice if you notice then this will be my lowest low because this is where the retracement started from this will now be my low my lowest low let me make this bold this will now be my, let me use the week because i use the week i include week in my low you see how price respected this line assuming some of you you will say this will now be let me delete this thing some of you will say yes now your shift in market structure because why yes your market structure shift market has changed direction market just broke this low then you will now say this is your other block this region here you now enter like this you now target here and your stop loss is going to be like this what just happened bro what just happened boom market just took you out all right market just took you out why you need to understand your law of pullback i want to see three candles closing below each other this there are two candles that is not a pullback there are two candles not valid there are two candles not valid there are two they must be the same color there are two candles not valid there are two candles not valid and here we have a valid push up so for this entire range like this this place is my pullback like my my valid retracement pullback this entire range is a consolidating market for me. No valid pullback. You notice how price respected this. So this is an inducement. For those of you asking me what is inducement. This is an inducement where market will trick you. Market will trick you. Ah, Usman. Market not change direction. Oh, okay. Ah, we want to say more cash that move. Market will trick you. Hoping or thinking that the direction has changed. Whereas... This is where the valid pullback is. M market has not changed. People will now sell. Now sell. Boom! Use them as liquidity. Sweep them. We talk about sweep of liquidity, right? We talk about sweep of liquidity. Boom! Sweep them out. Now, do we have valid pullback here? Yes. We did. So, this will now be a valid market structure shift for me. Valid. Why? We have three candles. We have three candles here. We have three. What what later now happen after this valid pullback? Market sold and broke this swing low here. This one, this one. Market sold. You see, you see, see the law. This is a valid pullback for me. And market now came. Market came and tap. Let me let me let me. This will be my supply level because I saw that valid pullback. This will be my supply level. Here, something like this 15 minutes 15 minutes supply level because i'm on a 15 minute time frame then i'll enter let's say i enter the trade right about this video i always enter my trade 
at the 50 percent of the fair value gap because i notice price will not like come to tap that my other block it will just fill the 50 percent of the fair value gap then my stop loss will always be at the like top of the uh supply level uh the supply order block then i will just target like somewhere around here let's say for example this is the trade here i will just start what later happen what later happen what later happen even before the market now reverse to the upside we have already hit take profit why this is a valid market structure shift because of this three candle one two three so we later change direction from this region we change direction let me zoom let me zoom let me zoom did we have uh, a valid push up to the a valid retracement to the upside no we did not have any three candle but uh this is a valid one for me this one and this this is a valid retracement i just want to see three candles that's all three candles one two three valid 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 no valid valid no valid retracement consolidation no valid retracement this is valid this is valid this is a valid retracement so market just crash so when you see three candles like this one two three valid retracement i just want to see continuation of trend like i just want to see um so you understand the gist abby all right so let's say this is a valid pullback one two three candles this is not a valid pullback for me this is a valid pullback i just want to see like three candles okay now is this a valid pullback let's say this market is in an up now we are not analyzing we are just trying to find that valid and invalid pullback let's say market is in an uptrend is this a valid pullback for you like this entire region is that let me even like zoom out so you see you see the market where is this a valid pullback for me it is not it is not it is not a valid pullback for me all right it is not a valid pullback for me that market is not a valid pullback so you need to understand how how to mark for me let's say for example where is the valid pullback this is not this is just one move one move for me one move like this where is the market structure shift happening for me i will mark here i don't know about you you know there are different strategy for me this is a market structure shift why because i have three candles here a market shifted structure and retest boom we so down so this is not like when you see one candle like this when you see one candle like this this is not a retracement for me this is a retracement no matter how small the candle is no matter how small one two three no matter how small is there a retracement here no this is just one move one move one move this is a valid one one two three and um, there need to be three colors but when you have one small candle like this sometimes i still do consider it you can still consider it it, it can still be valuable the most valid one is when they are of three colors like this one valid all right you can notice markets this is valid immediately we have a break of structure to the upside now you notice how market respected this low this one here because why we have three candles pull back this is your lowest low so when you want to identify your swing eyes and swing low or probably you are looking for ways to identify your retracement you need to see at least three candles closing below each other all right now see oh god somebody said power <laughs> this is not a market structure shift for me all right this is not a market structure shift for me no it is not a mark my market structure shift happens here this is my my lowest low here this region will be my low did we have oh i was thinking that was three candles this is not a three candle push my three candle push is here my lowest low. this is be my swing low this is just one move until i see three candles all right this is not a market structure shift for me this is the market structure shift so you need to understand do you want to be using three candles as your your 
your strategy or you just want to be identifying the random chart in the market but this is how i do my thing all right